It's maths! It's maths! Let's rub the magic elbow patch and see what fun is coming up today. No more sad maths. It's bad maths time. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> Doesn't time fly when you're enjoying yourself? Does it? Oh, yes. I'm having a great time. Until now, take your sand program away! We're finding fractions. Here's Third Bird's super seeds. <laughs> Twelve of them. Now, usually, Third Bird is only allowed to eat one-third of her seeds. Now, one-third of twelve is four. But she's been so good, today she can have two-thirds. So today only, she is two-thirds bird. <laughs> so she can have two times the seeds. One-third and another third. Two-thirds of twelve is eight. And do you think Snorter over here has been a good pig? <coughs> Well, I think so. So I'm going to make him, for one day only, three quarters snorter. On it goes. So he can take three times his usual helping. Three quarters of his truffly treats. So he finds one quarter by dividing by four. That's three treats. And he does it three times to find three quarters. Two extra quarters for Snorter. <laughs> three lots of three make nine. Now if you want to find two thirds, this is the thing to do. Divide by three to find one third, then multiply by two. Or if you'd rather be like Snorter, first divide to find one quarter. Times by three and then you're sure to end up with three quarters. Get some fraction action, you'll love it if you try. If you want to find a fraction, first divide, then multiply. Seriously, vomit causing. But never mind. Let's try and restore some order. Who's up for the warm up? Robin Peters from North London. Nico Jakes from South London. OK, fast as you can, finding fractions of numbers. Go! I'll go first, so I'll divide. I'll go second and multiply. Finding one-fifth first. Dividing 50 by 5 makes 10. Multiplying one-fifth by 4. 10 fours are 40. So, four-fifths of 50 is... 40. All right, next one. Dividing first, got to find one tenth with 30. That's three. All right, multiplying to find nine tenths. Nine threes are 27. So, nine tenths of 30 is 27. Yes, and one more to do. Dividing first, finding 100 for 1,000. Move the digits two places to the right. Makes ten. Multiplying to find three hundredths. Three tens are thirty. So, three hundredths of a thousand must be thirty. Excellent. For now. Fraction aid! Fraction aid! Please take generously, sir. Would you like some money? Chocolate money? You can buy a new umbrella. Would you like some chocolate money? Can I have a moment of your time, please? No. She's already got a very big chocolate bank account. Would you like some, sir? I, 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 I've got a hundred here, and I want you to have seven-tenths of them, but you can only have seven-tenths if you can work out what it is. 
Seven-tenths of a hundred. Shall we work it out together, madam? Yes. No, I can't tell you. Oh, we'll work it out together. So, there are 100 chocolate coins, and we want to know what seven-tenths of 100 is. OK, how do we do it, then? We want to find out what one-tenth is. Right. Yes. So what's one-tenth of 100? One-tenth of 100 is um, 10. Is right, because it's 100 divided by the denominator, which is 10, equals 10. Now, come on, madam, what's seven tenths then, if that's one tenth? I've got no, I'm not no mathematician. So, what's seven tenths? That would be 70. Uh, 70. Seven. Seven. Two. 17! Yes, because yeah. one tenth, which is 10, times by the numerator, which is seven, yeah. is 70. You worked out. 70. That's seven tenths of 100. There you are, sir. Well done. Nice doing business with you. Thank you very much. Oh, your teeth are going to fall out. Uh, oh, no. It's like winning on the chocolate machine. Oh, that be 70, then? If that top number's more than one, to the vibes, just have the fun. Here's the rule you should apply. Divide, then multiply. Yes, first you do divide and by the number down below. Use what's on top to multiply, and you got what you want to know. What do you know about using fractions? Who's going to divide and who's going to multiply? I'll go first this time, so I'll divide. I'll go second and multiply. Three tenths of two metres. Answer in centimetres. I need to change the metres into centimetres. Multiply by a 100. I'm dividing. Dividing by 10. One tenth of 200 is 20. I'm multiplying by 3. 20 multiplied by 3 is 60. So 3 tenths of 2 metres is 60 centimetres. OK, next one. 7 hundredths of 3 kilograms in grams. Got to change the kilos into grams. Multiply by... 1,000. I'm dividing. One hundredth of three thousand is three thirty. I'm multiplying by seven. Thirty multiplied by seven is twenty-one. Two hundred and ten. Fast! Seven hundredths of three kilograms is two hundred and ten grams. You've done it! Yes! Just. You're doing all right. However, now you get to feel sick looking at third bird and snorter. Ooh, take it away. What do you know about using fractions? Let's find out. Which number is higher? Three quarters of two metres in centimetres or seven tenths of two pounds in pence? Work it out and remember, no leaving without learning. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion, let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it, there's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> now look, you can only have extra treats if you've been a good mole. No! That's not a fraction, that's all of them! Will you stop it? 